Hello, this is Ali from SafeNet. This presentation is about how to install the LDK driver in order to support uh, working with LDK on a specific machine. So if this machine is going to be working with LDK and there is a Sentinel electric key to be connected to this machine or an SL key uh, is being used here, then most probably you would need uh, a driver in order to be working with. So the driver can be uh, downloaded uh, from our uh, website. So just open an internet uh, browser and go to um, let's let's go to safenet-inc.com/support. And here, uh, once you get it, you have uh, to choose which uh, product you would like to uh, be working with. So, uh, in a minute, when it comes up, I'm I'm going to use uh, HASP, uh, which is uh, the older name for for LDK, uh, but is still being used. So, select product. I'm using the HASP and then I get a list of all the files that uh, belongs to the HAS or the LDK. Uh, in, most of, in most of the cases I will find it in the first place but it might be afterwards. This is a command line runtime installer. Uh, the driver is also being called runtime. It's, so you might see runtime instead of the, the terminology tr driver but it is the same. You can see here that this is uh, Sentinel HASP, HASP HL, because it also, also uh, works with uh, older version of HASP 4 and Hardlock, etc., but also with the newer uh, and the latest Sentinel LDK. So this is the, the command line installer is the one that I would choose to uh, download it. So I'm going to uh, just uh, see that uh, here uh, and, and accept uh, everything that it is written here. Uh, so I'm going to save this file. So it takes time uh, and then I will uh, open it. When the file uh, exists I have to extract the file, it's a zip. And then I can see here there is a file called Hasp the inst.exe, which is Hasp uh, installation, uh, and this file, as a matter of fact, is the one that I will have to run. But I will have to run it uh, with, within a command line because there is a parameter uh, that needs to be uh, used. Uh, first of all, there is a README HTML that I can uh, see details about this uh, this runtime installer, about which are the operating systems installed, uh, supported. Uh, this is a list, for instance, uh, and other things that are related to uh, to this uh, runtime installer. Uh, so let let me just uh, go back to uh, uh, to this has this, but within a command line. So what we'll do is to open a command line. I will open a command line by going to cmd, and then right click, run as administrator because installing the driver you have to be an uh, administrator. And now I will go to uh, this location so I will cd change directory into this location so I'm now in this location I can go see using dir that I see the hasdins.exe and now if I if I just click on hasdins.exe I will not run it I will just let me show you I will just uh, see what are the parameters uh, that I might use in order to run it because uh, in order to run it you have to do it within a command line. So what I will do is ask the inst minus i. Minus i meaning that I want to install it. So once I enter it, it is being installed. Uh, once again the driver or the runtime environment installation is done. It might take uh, like uh, 20 seconds or maybe 
uh, maybe a bit more. Uh, and once it is done, it's it's done it uh, successfully, and I finish it, and I can just uh, finish everything. And now let me see whether uh, the driver is is installed. So in order to do so, I just open an Internet Explorer or any other browser and do like this: HTTP localhost and port 1947. So here it is. This is Admin Control Center or ACC, which is called. This means that the driver is really installed. I can, for instance, go to uh, Diagnostics and see the version of uh, the driver installed on my machine. Thank you for watching.